Okay. What's your mom like? Uh, I... Let's go back to my dad. Of all the mysteries that surround iCarly, there is one question that reigns supreme. Where'd you get a bag of dog hair? No. When did Spencer start playing penis? No. Is that a hamster wearing a space helmet? Don't go back ah! No! How come we never heard anything about Carly's mother? All right. Yes. Today, we'll explore the most highly anticipated mystery as voted on by you, the viewers. What happened to Carly's mom? Let's find out on iConspiracy. But before we dive in, let's recap what we already know. Have you ever seen an HBO drama, Harper? This is how they catch people. <laughs> we know that the subject of Carly's mom is a touchy one, both for Carly and Spencer. Spencer, you have a stain on your shirt. Go put on a fresh one. <laughs> but you're not my mother. <clears throat> I'll put on a clean shirt. When Spencer almost lost custody of Carly, Granddad Shay was prepared to become her legal guardian. Your dad also agreed that since he's not here right now, I can decide what's best for you. You're coming to live with me in Yakima. Mrs. Shea isn't even mentioned as a possibility for Carly's caretaker. And that's just about it. Seriously, we know so little, we don't even know if Carly and Spencer share the same mother. Thankfully, we don't have that problem with their father. Hey, I heard Carly scream. What's going on? Da Daddy! Hey! <laughs> so then, where do we go from here? None other than... Carly's mother passed away. I'm gonna grab some umbrellas. I'm gonna go turn off the thunder and lightning machine. <laughs> Let's be honest here. This is a pretty likely outcome. It would explain why it's such a sensitive subject for Carly and Spencer. Though that isn't to say this theory isn't without its flaws either. For one, there are zero pictures of the mother in either Carly or Spencer's apartment. Granted, there aren't any pictures of their father either, but at least he takes a slightly more active role in their life. Hey, Dad. It's on the news? <laughs> no, no, we're all fine. Yeah, they took the girl and her parents to jail, so, you know, happy ending. <laughs> But the real condemning evidence comes right here. Hey, listen, I would love to hug you all, but I have to take an incredibly beautiful girl to a very special dance. He's talking about me. <laughs> You'd think Colonel Shea would comment on how much Carly is starting to look more mature. Maybe more like her late mother? That is, unless Colonel Shea doesn't want to remind Carly of her mother. Because... Carly's mother is an absentee. That's some pretty dark stuff. As uncomfortable of a thought that might be, it wouldn't be the first time someone's parent ran out on them. Where's your father? You tell me! Yes, and my dad once told my mom he was coming back. If my dad asked me to spend some time with him in Italy, I'd say, well, first I'd say, oh, so you're my dad. There's also the case of Freddie's missing father. Somehow he isn't mentioned even once in the series. Talk about cats in the cradle. What cat? Spencer and I are getting married. Ah! Wow. Isn't it grand? So grand. <laughs> and I guess that's it. Sorry to end this on such a sad note, guys. I just don't know why else Carly wouldn't want to talk about her mother. Unless... It's not that she doesn't want to. It's that she can't. Carly's mother is a secret agent. In the episode, I Won't Cancel the Show, it's implied that Colonel Shea is on a covert mission. My dad, Colonel Stephen Shea of the United States Air Force, is watching at Carly live tonight from a submarine just off the coast of Alaska. I don't think you should give away his position. I meant the coast of Nebraska. Yes, deep in the Nebraskan ocean. It would also explain why only once in five years, Colonel Shea is able to go visit his children. What's wrong? That was my dad. He, he can't come home now. What? No way! Yeah, there's some situation in some country. I don't know, he's gotta help handle it. It's very possible that the two met and fell in love while serving in the military. And the reason she isn't mentioned is because she's still on an undercover mission. In another episode, the gang hacks into a secure military network in order to wish Colonel Shea happy birthday. But in doing so, this attracts the attention of someone, in their own words, very high up in the US government. This 
person turned out to be none other than First Lady Michelle Obama, who, as it turns out, is a big fan. She watched iCarly online last week. No <laughs> Seriously? Mm -hmm. My daughters are big fans, and I am too. But could there have been more going on than a simple, friendly visit? Maybe they were investigating Carly's skills for espionage, just like her mother. I never went undercover before. What are you supposed to wear? I don't know. Freddy's wearing a robot costume. <laughs> ha ha. Move over, 007. Here comes Double Eye Carly. But what do you think? Is Carly's mom still out there somewhere? Comment below where you think she is and make sure to subscribe for all things iCarly. Until next time, this is iConspiracy. Thanks for watching.